Well, let's see what we got. The run back from the winner's finals. John yeah. Numbers defending the city. Mr. E representing Lawton Island. John tried to grime and he set it off with instant dash tech. We're back on Smashville. He no, tried one, no one's surprised. That oh my god. Why? I heard a what happened and me too. I I I think he just uh, like let's, had a brain. Let's just see what happened. Let's check it out. <laughs> I mean, it like it happens to the best of us. Oh, he just did run off down air and he was in too much end lag. Oh my god. That's tough. I mean, it's like a rookie Lucina mistake. Not calling him a rookie. Um, the call outs, damn. No, I'm <laughs> We're saying like, like it here. Uh, listen. <laughs> Mr. E sucked. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm sorry, Mystery. I thought yeah. you were good. <laughs> I thought you were stronger. Guys. I love, I love that so I much. Like so. Let's not start a narrative here. UFO. <laughs> no, we, lo we love E. We love E. Yeah. No, he is. Who's we? Not Mr. E. He's iconic. I like this. <laughs> the classic block strings. Do not let John Numbers get away with another one of those backers out of shield. Yo. He's moving. He's moving. What more can you say, man? He is moving out here. It's the up air, back air. Does net some good damage, hitting the ledge hang as well. But yeah, Mr. East having to start getting a little bit desperate, throwing out a couple down air, throwing out eight down air there to try and intercept numbers. He just walked back but and then ran up and grabbed. He, he's cool as a cucumber. He's even wearing cool. green. Parry's left, right, and center. Forward smash, not gonna kill ya. Jump is used though. Doesn't matter. But he rushed it. Like the yeah. jump was used. You know what numbers had to go for. You could have just played the drop zone, the ledge hang, uh, drop zone back air. But alas, numbers gets yeah. another chance. It can be tricky though. And you know, Mr. E, he's gone for those like wait, uh, waiting for the edge guard a lot, and it hasn't paid off. So maybe he feels a bit more um, incentive to try going early. It's all about that mental stack. Nice back air though. Gonna pick up the stock. Look at his. He's locked in. He's Look locked at Mr. E, in. dude. Demon glare. He is, <laughs> yeah. He's not looking at the screen. He's he looking looks, at numbers. He looks possessed. <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's trying to get numbers to combust. Dude, but he's like blinking like once every like eight seconds. It's intense. He is a competitor's competitor. He's out here to be everyone and himself. Wait, hold on. Oh, that nair would have been so good. And instead, the coverage of the forward air drop zone back air. But the, oh my god, numbers. Oh. Playing that situation perfectly, delaying all of his resources to the very end. Yet here we are back again, drifting away. Does he have it? The this? drift out again. The drift out again. And the header to hit the greedy forward smash attempt from E. And he let it rip. He barely. I, I want to see. Show me that last stock, please, that was... Devin. What's up? Show me that last stock. Got you. Pretty please. Because I got to know. Right here. We're going we're gonna to slow it down. We need to see how far was this Nair. Yeah. Oh. She could feel the air coming off that blade. And you know what? We talked about this earlier. Oh. Hitboxes and hurtboxes and ultimate are precise to a fault. Extremely, Extremely precise. Extremely precise. <laughs> that was... Oh, wow. He was ready for the hit confirm. But he did not get it. Oh, and Numbers was ready for the reversal. Yeah. They're both it's it's so crazy hard. because like every other person Mr. E's played against today, he's kind of he's made a fool out of dominated. them. Dominated. Yeah, and John Numbers, okay. He's he's alive. Yeah, he's, it's Smash Bye. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't he just defies logic. Systematic player. He's that up forward smash is part of the system. Yeah, it's part of the system. But he breaks it down. Like, everything that Numbers does is within his own system. We're just looking at the, a completely different game than he is. There is no spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there, there is no spoon. <laughs> like. Oh my god. It's so that nice. That was a beautiful grab. Yeah, but the, the empty jump from off stage. Yeah. Intercepting as well, bypassing the ledge that time. But the feints actually finding the reversal there with Mr. E with his own plat drop up air. Every time he does like a little sun movement thing, I think about. Um, so John actually has, and I know because I have it. Um, so he has an entire like essay, like write up document thing 
on everything about Sun Salutation. That's um, important. Got to know your character. But it's like, like it's actually crazy, like because I, it's like a bible of just how how that move works. But he has really, in the past like year or so, he's really implemented always getting those movement cancels. He tried to do it on Wake Up there, and yeah. obviously it didn't work. But like, there's a lot of instances where he's um, he's charging Sun and moving at the same time to just get a little bit more out of his resources, which matters a lot. I mean. The word has been overused at this point, but he's he's system, uh, systematic. He's trying to find the uh, the best way to play for his playstyle, for his character. The little optimizations go a long, long way when you're trying to get every drop out of this Wii Fit trainer. Yeah. Let's see. Though Mr. E has a really good position here, though. I mean, we've been taught, we've been singing John's praises, but it feels like Mr. E's finally found his rhythm a little bit. Yeah, multiple, uh, winning multiple ledge interactions in a row against numbers, even if you're, the damage doesn't really tell, it's been this for minutes on end, just constantly forcing John back into a corner, forcing John to start playing his own game and react to the situation. That's really but, hard to hit. Man, there's no reacting that. You're just landing that down air and yeah. bringing us to a game number three. You have to hit the two frame. And you also have to hit the two frame with the spike, which is like two frames, right? Yeah. It's so, a two frame of a two frame. Two frame, yeah. I don't know if it's actually two frames, but Lucina's spike is really tight to hit. Let's find out. Yeah. Um, man, I. Mr. E, I mean, maybe he found a second wind here. Could be. He looks very much in control. Of or that maybe man. Numbers' his tummy ache is finally catching up for him. The nausea is bare. His, his poor stummy hurt. <laughs> Let's see, we've seen a down air. Name, frame nine. We're getting the numbers here, folks. Yeah. Uh, so nine through 13, the spike is active on frame 11. So it's one frame. It's one frame. So you have to hit the two frame with the one frame spike. Um, Really hard to do. Very. Yeah, great nair up tilt back air though. Numbers attacking on some damage. And here we are again. Like, just check out the positioning from E. Like, it's without fear. Like, he's threatening those down airs, of course, but oh, missing the confirm as well. A great but, parry. But he's not like playing around what John is uh, setting up on this ledge. He's oh. forcing John to make plays. And right now, John is currently making them the rollback, but no, no, no in finishing hit. And instead, it's E with the nair out of shield. Bouncing away the volleyball and turning us into a Mr. E. I was going to say stock lead, but instead we are at an even game. I mean, you said it earlier, that F tilt, dependent on timing, covers every option. It covers everything uh, and definitely kills. Roll can be a little bit wonky because it sets up, but it does cover a lot. It can kill off the top, too. It, it can, Here, yeah. Just yeah. like later. <laughs> Ooh. Reverse fair instead of back air there. Still plenty of damage though. E in a very stable position. That the angle of the shield up to make sure it didn't shield poke by yeah. the way from Mr. E. So really perfect. crispy. It's those little things, right? It's the little things. They go a long way. Talking okay. about the little optimizations of a weird character, the little optimizations of a consistent character is so frightening. Yeah, we for trainer. Consistent. Uh Lucina's the consistent character. No, she's the weird one. True. <laughs> she's a weird one because she has no gimmick. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> spitting facts. <laughs> there is no specialty. Die. <laughs> there is no secret ingredient. You're oh, dead. The dash attack. Does he? Yeah. yeah. He saved his jump, but numbers knew it he saved it. It doesn't matter though because um, when Mr. E and I'll, when Mr. E recovers, he makes this like V recovery path, right, where he goes yeah. down low and then he spikes up. John knows that he can intercept Mr. E at the bottom of the V. Always oh, got to go right to that point. Oh, what a perfect grab on that yeah, ledge. Yeah, a great mash out from John and a forward air reversal to boot. But wow, Mr. E actually gets the parry and the up B out in between the nares. It gets a reversal and now has this dominating ledge trap. He's, man, Numbers has been hunting for exactly that Nair like so many times, oh. barely whiffing. That Sun would have been the stock. It would have caught, caught the jump. 100% here, Jaren. 
That is my name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're seeing E. Power throw. Good er Eric setting up on his position yet again as John. <laughs> Henry. Henry, yeah. yeah. We all got names. Names are important. 148, though, on the verge of a reset. But Jonathan steal this. Deep breathing it does is, a lot. It's, it's, it's... Oh, the heat wound up the forward smash. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a backer out of shield that John decided not to take. The Nair is not going to do it. 164. Deep breathing back online. He's just getting the installs up. Dragon install. Let's go, Kaikisuke. Okay, now you're Re grabbing. Oh, but I actually like that he goes above there. And taking the down tilt with the dash That attack. dash attack is so bold, but it's so good. Mm. Wait, I need a replay on that. I need a replay on that. I like require a replay on that. I was so wait. man, it was a long drawn out dude, final dude, stock. Dude, 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 dude. But look, wait, hold on. He played hold it on, how on. he should have. Let's see it. Oh. So if you go back here, I want to play this like frame by frame. Look, numbers goes for the dash attack, and it becomes active as soon as the hands come out. So it's like that, right? If Mr. E is there, like a couple frames earlier, he gets hit by the dash attack, it's a different story. It's a completely different game. Instead, yeah. we've got maybe three more. True maybe. Fi true finals of Zeno number 324. Mr. E and John Numbers putting another chapter in their storied story of history. These guys have been playing a lot recently. Yeah, they have. Um, I mean, E's been coming to a lot more Zenos. Trying to, trying to see who we can play, trying to play more people. And honestly, that's... That's the great thing about being in a region like Tri-State where you can just, it, it's a drive, but you can go to a Xeno, a Fusion, a Stargate, uh, a Bears, and play a completely different crowd with a completely different play style. Yeah, and for Mr. E, I mean, he's a, he's a demon. He's a grinder, that's the yeah. word I'm looking for. He is a... You know, he he's very public about, you know, how much effort he puts in, how yes. much he cares. That was so good. And even John reeled back in his chair. Mr. E actually just waited out and baited John to use his resources early. The Ooh. mini sun, though? It doesn't matter. Wait. Just didn't have a ball available. Didn't have any sort of resources to try and finish that stock. And instead, it's E in the, his position of strength yet again. Played yeah. close to the ledge. And Mr. E, you know... Um, there's this concept of like, yeah. okay, great runoff forwarder. There's a lot of situations where like certain characters in this game, um, like for granted you're good enough, you can kind of like, you have like your best position. You're kind of like Superman in yeah. that position, right? Your win condition. Yeah, where you get this position, that's where you make your money. Mr. E, please don't SD again, okay. Correct. Mr. E, every time he has John at that ledge and he gets those, he gets the jump out, He's in a position of dominance where he is kind of favored to take the stock. It's like a formula, right? Right. That's. I mean, that's part of where E is so good because a lot of a lot of times his game plan comes upon a, like establishing that like position where he wants to be and letting the uh, letting the levels extend from that. So in this case, it's been super close to ledge and just letting John deal with him being there. Oh, yeah. I almost said formula for taking stocks, but all the blue lockers out there would have been like, what? The formula. Oh. The forward air from on Great the jump call hook. out. Great jump call out. Yeah. Reminiscent um, of a Samus forward air, <laughs> to be honest with you. But it was an extremely necessary win from Numbers, who, outside of that game one of the previous set, had just been falling behind time and time again, and instead, E keeping it extremely even. Oh, that jump was very, very tight. Yeah, it, it feels. I, I wonder if Numbers, if he loses this game, will opt to go somewhere other than Smashville because I could see Numbers trying to go like something like Small Battlefield. Yeah, because well, I mean his favorite stage, right? Yeah. One of the big benefits for Lucina on this stage is that because it's so small, every stray hit puts John into the corner or even off stage, um, where Mr. E wants to be, right? Or wants 100%. John to be, rather. Oh, the crouch there from John to avoid the rising fair. So nice, but the landing back there connects anyway. Yeah, I think he could have actually confirmed off that Nair one if he was ready for it, but reacting yeah. to that is it's really, really hard. No yeah. jump. Oh, he, he went for that two frame. And that's the up air from ledge. Doesn't kill yet, though. No rage. No sun or not enough rage, rather. Yeah, no sun salutation. But the forward tilt run up coverage. Walks up. Oh. Sticks his arm out. Now, let's try it.
it's together. a nice karate chop. Yeah. Or I guess like she goes forward, so it's not really a chop, but I digress. Numbers taking game one yet again, trying to walk home the defender of the city. But it's Mr. Oh, e counterpicking. Yeah. And he's gonna run straight back to Smashville if you let him. Town and City PS2 were the bands. We can see them up in the top right. You guys might not actually, but yeah, we can no, see them. It's for you guys. TNC and PS2 have been the bands all set, I think, too. I don't think either of them have actually changed bands once. Yeah. For yeah, look at John. He is a little bit, you know, now we can see him. Yeah, he's he's deep. He's thinking. He's taking. And that's good. Like t Both players, honestly. <clears throat> taking their time. He having a deep breath. Numbers, closing his eyes for a moment. Yeah, two it's, soldiers going out to yeah. war. You've got a lot of information that's just being like yeah. pushed at you constantly. And a lot of it's repeating information, but because there's look so the, much. The villager was making a sad face at the start. I never like, focused on it so hard. Oh, now he's happy. Oh, there's a walrus. That's my guy. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to push it. Here we are yet again. Oh my god, the shield pressure. Oh, Whoa. he tried to wait for a spot dodge there, it looked like. But he mashed instead. Yeah. Wow. That bear would have been really oh. bad for Mr. And, and the tech roll in. Numbers taking advantage of Wii Fit's insanely long tech roll. But is he ready for that? Taking a step yeah. back from ledge this time. A lot of times he's close in, trying to be in a position where he can react and grab to a neutral getup. Oh, but this time he's fainting so hard in the jump between that he finally lands yeah. one of those down airs to. I actually, I think that John tried to swing from the ledge. I don't think. I think Very he still well had invulnerability. I think he tried to go for you know the patented numbers up air from ledge. We can see it in the replay. Oh, oh, oh that was so tight. It's the header though. That dash attack is not going to kill yet. No deep breathing is not is not going to allow that to close up the stock. Good nice tech. tech. Nice tech again. UFO. Wow, the pivot grab, but it was a dash attack and not roll from numbers, so it whiffed. Both of these two in such a weird position yeah. time and time again. Finally deep breathing online again. And the I run actually, up. I want to call focus. Numbers goes for up throw instead of like up throw or back throw. And it actually, it keeps Mr. E horizontally closer to him. Because the thing is, like, if John has the deep breathing up and then he goes for the up throw, or the like, a back throw, per se, Mr. E can actually just stall the deep breathing out off stage. Yes. But because Mr. E is hovering above the stage, he has to, he can't stall that. Or he has to give up all the positioning entirely, right? Yeah, it's classic positional victories. Yeah. Um, you're, you become a fastballer and just in general so much faster. So your juggle game, just like that, becomes so much better with deep breathing that you'd rather take advantage of that as opposed to a force off stage, unless yeah. that throw will kill, of course. Yeah. Just thought it's something cool to pay attention to. It, it is very cool. I agree. Like with that that one one walk step back before the dash in grab. Yeah. Oh no. Finds the pickup though, Mr. E with a little bit of an overshoot. Always gotta be careful to maximize that space. The run up spot, spot dodge. dodge. Called out the grab and the appropriate punish. Zero zero. Mr. E on his tournament stock. Yeah. This is his tournament stock. Yeah, it is. Oh, and the Nair cross-up taking advantage of E being too close to ledge. Numbers yeah. starting to take advantage of those little victories, but the spot dodge of his own keeps Numbers off stage. Mr. E looking to finish it off. You're in Oh, oh the you saved him! John, I think he was dead. I think so too. I think that was it. And we we'll move on to a game number. Oh, you got it? Okay. <laughs> We've, we had a chance at a final game, but instead, one slight misstep and slight misspacing allows Numbers to take the lead. Another time here. He needs to get back to this ledge, though. He does. He gets actually back to center stage. He try. Oh, the <laughs> we fits incredibly long. Yeah. Tech roll breaks away from the Mr. E setup of these down tilt down smashes. Yeah, and that's. Respecting it again. Oh, my God. Trying to force the tech scenario instead. Fight. Get up! No down way. tilt! And he tried he tried to send the machine gun ball across the stage. How could it work? Up air. Ah! Oh no, just so much threat, but no button and the neutral tech after teching in twice in a row Dude. and Mr. E being a full step back. He tries to neutral get up, but the spacing was too good. He is locked in right now. My god. Holy moly.
this guy. Let's see some replays. <laughs> yeah, I. Oh man. My God. I can't believe like. So here, right? This. Uh, was down there. He was dead. He was a hundred percent dead. Hundred oh, percent. Wow. But we're making it back. But also, final game. I don't know if Mr. E could have actually recovered back to the stage without hitting him there. Yeah, it, he had to. Have so I think in that instance, he actually has to hit numbers because we fit's like gonna float there faster if Mr. E tries to die. Or if numbers tries to survive with an up B, he lets himself get hit by the up B. I mean, I guess. It's just hard because he wasn't really in the best oh, position yeah. to do that. Um, no, instinct says up B back to ledge. I won, but numbers got there just in the nick of time. Yeah. Oh. Bringing us to our final game of the Xeno Six. Stop. Oh, <laughs> the hit for did, did not close up the stock. Can he get the final one? No, he cannot. But he finds the up air after. Not a volleyball, food. but still a stock. And that's so, it's so important for you to get off to like an early momentous lead after Bear. your opponent. You know, has a clutch victory. Like the roll is so we long. Fit, we fits wrong rolls. <laughs> it's like okay, John, you need to chill. You need to chill. She is athletic. <laughs> okay, the grab there from E was super good. Just keeping things consistent. Oh my god! I interrupted. He's... That's tough. You're starting to relinquish it some feels... of the advantages that you had here, Jamie. It, fe it feels like he, like John, like sometimes he like wills the game to work for him. He you does. know what I mean? Like he just sometimes, it's the nature of playing into the beast where you have to be so ready for what John does. And if you let that game plan slip for even a moment, sometimes you just get snowballed on. But the four tilt does come out, not letting John get away with that by overcomplicating it. Stocks are even, but percentage is really tough. Back throw. That's not gonna kill you. I lie. Yeah, he exploded. <laughs> oh, he was at 150, I guess. Yeah, yeah you're right. And we fit strongest throw is her back throw. Yeah, especially with deep breathing on. Yeah, back air 32. I mean, this is slipping out of Mr. Yeah, E's control. The up air to shield. Oh, okay. That was a nice little juggle scenario, but not able to get this follow up forward tilt. It's so funny because uh, Mr. E is like so locked in, and I feel like half this game, John has just been like demonstrating projectile motion. <laughs> like, <laughs> John, physics engine in motion. <laughs> Mr. E <laughs> fighting for his life. <laughs> that's literally what's all. Oh, that was good. He's, keep, he's aware of the spacing. I was expecting John Very to go for nice. neutral get up into sun. I'm going to be so real. Oh, I think he tried it because he doesn't have the sun. Yeah, he'll need to charge up everything again. He just has head, just has header, but instead of trying to take advantage of the he just space, runs up and grabs. he just runs up and grabs. And it's so smart. Weefa, it's good. Weefa has a fast run. I mean, obviously, the downside is that she stands up. She doesn't, like, dip low when she runs yeah. like a lot of characters, but she's really fast. She has great posture. She does. Oh, the trade on that soccer ball was rough, but instead you're so far off stage, you get all of that, all of those resources back. Don't forward smash. With max rage as well. Oh man, it's tough to get up attack. Just please don't forward smash. Ah, yeah. oh, fell out of there. That's so hard. Weefit's, Weefit can be sometimes really awkward in hit stun because she can sometimes go pretty Dead. flat, and you're just not able to close out that stock as the numbers takes the W, stares right at the camera. Hi, John. <laughs> that was... Why did he do that? I don't know. <laughs> why did he... Why did he do that? He's letting us know his tummy hurts. His tummy hurt. <laughs> <laughs> My tum -tum. tummy hurt. That was a remarkable play from John. Oh, this is perfect. Game. I like... Yeah, it's just he has that extra gear he, he gets I mean, into. I mean, what can we tick off you know, amongst those stocks? It was uh, punishing Lucina for being in um, over a full hop height because she's so floaty. Um, yeah, I can't believe that Malta's in Europe. You can't watch this. Yeah. <laughs> punishing and over spacing, like trying to go a little too far with that forward air, get right up in, block, grab it. And then this. Yeah, it's actually. Dolphin Slash has one angle, one way that yeah. you can go. So you can either, you can punish it in a myriad of, if, of ways if you you know how to do so. And that John is difficult to time, I will know say. How to do so. We saw a lot no, of... The money's visible. John is doing a great no, don't show the money. <laughs> 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 I was hiding the money. 
John numbers. He was hiding the money. I love John. Classic John Freaking numbers. Baseball. The caricature of Zeno. Hi, John. Wahoo. Wahoo. I'm saying Wahoo. Also, Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, yeah. that's true. This is the last, last Zeno of the, of the year. year. Uh, funny enough, because of like the way it re uh, happens, is that Bombs is on New Year's Day. So, how about that? We get to start the year. And we'll not be there. with the Zeno. January 1st. Bombs. Come through. What are you going to do? Recover? That's all. That's what all New Year's Day is for. Um, I don't know. I'll exactly. be like, I'll be like I'm, sleeping. Exactly. I'll be at work. Is it the evening? <laughs> Wait, you got you have to work? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> I was gonna say. I, I was like, no, I'll be at work. I don't know. Something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but I mean, either, either way, thank everybody for watching Xeno number 324. Happens every single Wednesday right here at 21 Waterloo Street, New York, New York. Got some amazing food options in the area, and it's all streamed. So many VODs. Yeah. At twitch.tv slash hassle3000. All of the VODs will be on the YouTube channel, youtube.com, hassle3000. Bracket is open at start.gg slash xeno uh, every single week. And if you're looking for all the updates via the Twitter, you can find them at devin3000, hashtag freehouse3000. But also make sure to follow Devin just because that'd be really cool. Amongst <laughs> all of the other locations that you can find, the House of 3000. Twitter is Devin, but everywhere else, House of 3000 on Blue Sky, on Twitch, on YouTube, the Discord link right there. And if you're interested in some of the best production that fighting games have to offer, events at House of 3000.nyc. Shout out to House. Shout out. What's the goats? To House. I mean, shout out to House. Yeah, I mean, what, what else can I say? I mean, every House related event that I've been to has had remarkable production. Even before I knew what House of 3000 was, oh, I was yeah. watching Smash events and, like, oh, wow, like, this is really cool. And it know, is, it is a surreal thing to say to some people, like, like partially as a flex, but like also the fact that like it just kind of is what it is. Where it's just like, if you've watched a Smash Major, it probably was us. Yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, they, I mean, they got another major coming up uh, in two weeks at LMBM. Some big moves. Some Let's big, some big moves big being made. Moves. Hire me, please. <laughs> That's a joke, but draft them in. It's not <laughs> a joke. <laughs> yeah. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. <laughs> Uh, but I, either way, it's going to be great to see. It's going to be great to see the major scene come back to Tri-State. Uh, and the Big Move series is always a blast. Yeah, so. Luminosity making some big moves. Yeah, it's a Luminosity making yeah, some big moves. Specifically. Yeah. Yeah. That's big <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that, the EMG and the Luminosity crew. House of 3000 will be running the production there. And it's going to be a great time. But any final thoughts there, Jaren? What are you doing for New Year's? What are you doing? Uh, I will be on a Discord VC probably. Hell I don't know. Yeah. I well, cause oh, like yeah. I I don't know. People I know are like going out to bars and stuff. I don't do that. So mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be about it. Yeah. Uh, go to bombs and New Year's Day. That's my final thought. Ooh. Uh, right here, twenty one yeah, right Street. Here. Return to your bullshit. Yeah. Return. Do it. What better way? Your New Year's resolution. Get on your bullshit. Yeah, go back on the bullshit. Back on the bullshit. Nobody has New Year's resolutions The resolution anymore. means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Get back on it. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, have a good night, everyone. And I'll see you on the next time. Peace, Peace out.